looks like he's kind of freaking out. Okay, yep, okay, he's not having a good time. Oh gosh, okay, he twisted his ankle. He's down for the count. What's going on, guys? My name is The Wolf Prairies, and welcome back to another episode of Insane Siege Creations. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some more of the most awesome creations that I have found on the Steam Workshop. And to start off with, this creation's name is called, well, I, I, I don't exactly know, but I'll put it up on the screen. And that it would be down below as well, so yeah, there you go. But yeah, this creation is either in Chinese or Japanese, and I just don't read those. You know, obviously, I'm uh, I'm speaking English right now. I'm probably an American, and yeah, Americans are pretty dumb. But anyways, there's U, H, and K to control this guy, so let's go and try this out. Uh, this is U. Okay, I guess this is to move forward. I think H and K are to turn. Let's go and try to turn here. Okay, I think there's a pin block as well. Okay, yeah, there's a pin block. Let's try to press P. Okay, there we go. And uh, yeah, I did have to pin the face on because it fell off before and uh, it just fell off again. So don't worry about that. Let's see if we can actually move now. Here we go. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's moving. Maybe the main thing that gathered my interest about this creation is that in the description, it says U, H and K are, you know, the only words that I can actually make out. And then there's also mod and then mo ha 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 and a whole bunch of Chinese and Japanese and, you know, in between it. And yeah, I don't know exactly what it says, but you know, anything with a mo ha 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 in it has to be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we're actually moving along pretty well. I mean, you know, it's it's very slow, honestly, uh, but look, it looks pretty good. You know, it's pretty scary. Okay, I think there are some other keys. Let's go and try to these out. Okay, I think there's a Y. Let's go and try Y. Okay, yeah, there's like a fire breath. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, we're perfectly on top of those bones there to, you know, burn those up. It's almost like I meant to do that. Okay, then there is possibly an equals key, maybe? Okay, no, not the equals key. Um, and then there is uh the backspace or this this one okay no that doesn't do anything either um mod just some okay yeah it just says mod i didn't know if maybe those were keys he meant to use and uh yeah okay okay we can just go ahead and pull up the key mapper up here and okay yeah there's like a p there's there's a v there's some y's there's an i in there somewhere uh there's some u and a j back here in the back those are always fun as well okay let's go and try some of these other keys now let's go and hide that as well and uh, v this is v here okay um it's doing something. It's doing something up in the face, but yeah, I just don't see what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, I see something moving, but yeah, I, just, I don't know what it does. I guess it just does that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go and try J. Okay, and uh, yeah, I think this is to move backwards. There we go. Yeah, you can just kind of move your arms back like that. I think that is, you know, how animals are supposed to move. I've seen animals in the wild, and I'm pretty sure that's how they walk. Okay, then there's Y and I, so let's go and try those out as well. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm sorry, I kind of forget them pretty easily. Okay, there's Y and I. Okay, yeah, that just kind of opens and closes the mouth. That's pretty cool. And I also did change the pin block for the head so that when we unpin it like this, oh, it, it wasn't supposed to fall off. I'm pretty sure I did anyway, right? I did this and then click onto this thing. Here we go. Just click onto that. Okay, actually, oh, wait, I did something wrong. This and then that. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be nine and I didn't press nine. Okay, try this again, maybe. Here we go, just like that and then unpin. And yeah, it just falls off. That's fine. Okay, I put a few more in. Maybe that will help. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that worked that time. So now we have it unpinned it. We can actually move around. And uh, yeah, I put like four or five pin blocks in the head. I don't even know exactly where they are. Uh, but you know, they're in there. That's good. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of dancing now. I don't know really know what's going on. It looks like he's kind of freaking out. Okay, yep. Okay, he's not having a good time. Oh gosh. Okay, he twisted his ankle. He's down for the count. Okay. Uh, you can you can just take a little rest, buddy. That's fine. Uh, you know, you've had a hard day. I, I believe it. You know, you, you can just chill. I just wanted to check you out because of the more ha 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 in the description. And you know, yeah, it, it was worth it. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. Okay, for this creation, this creation's name is called Steve's World. And obviously, you know, it is Steve from Minecraft. This looks like a nice little Minecraft world here. And yeah, it doesn't actually have any uh, controls or description for that matter. It also just has a generic thumbnail. So yeah, it just, you know, kind of looked a little bit odd. But at the same time, it looked really cool. And uh, yeah, it does look pretty cool. You know, nice little detailed. I don't know if there are any controls. So let me just go ahead and try a bunch of different things. Let's see if we can move this little dude down here. Okay, I just pressed U and he kind of jumped up into the air. I think that was some kind of like arrow that made him jump. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, you can just jump like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, how do we move forward though? Okay, I'm pressing. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think it is Y to turn to the side like that. Okay, yeah, Y is like a straight. Okay, yeah, and T to go forward, I think. Okay, no, he's kind of turning to the side. Okay, come on, buddy, you can just not do that. Okay, I think I've gotten it. We should be good now. Let's just go ahead and go for a nice little stroll and see what we can find. Here we go. Okay, yeah, we're actually staying upright as well. That's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we can also jump every so often if we want to, just using the arrow thing. There we go, just like that. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a little jump. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I just don't really know, you know, what there is to explore over here. We're just going to kind of walk over and see if there is. Uh, yeah, over here, it just doesn't really look like anything we can actually go up. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and go back over to the house instead. Actually, I see something over in that little cobblestone area. Let's go ahead and just walk over there and see what we can find. It just kind of looks like some ropes or something uh, with some pulleys, maybe. Let's go ahead and try to scroll in here. Okay, this is, uh, you know, kind of weird. I've never played Minecraft in third person like this. Okay, we're going to try to... Okay, I think we can walk through this, maybe. Yeah, it's moving. 
okay uh that, that that's fine i think maybe we can like jump on top of it and it'll like carry us up there we go okay and uh, yeah our shirt is glitching a little bit don't worry about that okay i think we have to kind of like come at it and like jump like onto it I, I don't know how to explain it so i'll just do it there we go okay yeah just like that maybe come on buddy you got this oh just hold on okay and now uh, pull me up whoever is up there pull me up please maybe i'm supposed to use the grab objects tool to like you know pull myself up like that i'm not exactly sure let's get back up onto here there we go buddy okay yeah now we're out on it perfectly okay let's go ahead and grab this over here and now we can just drag this right up maybe right like you know just pull this thing up by the ropes here we go i'm trying to pull it but yeah it doesn't seem to be moving maybe grab the bottom of it and pull up okay yeah this is kind of working here we go buddy okay i don't think this is exactly how we're supposed to do it uh but you know we're doing it together just like this okay we're kind of knocking down the walls and i just pulled that out from under you okay well you know i tried okay it's also very hard to navigate as well because you have to like middle click onto whatever you want to be in the perspective of and yeah it's just very hard let's see if there's any other mouse or camera views i mean here we go okay that is one and two i guess one and two just kind of raises and lowers his head that's pretty cool uh is there like a three and four as well oh okay i just heard something go off okay and i see fire over there as well and uh yeah what was that okay i saw the fire from over in this area and yeah i think it is that tnt that's up there that kind of explodes okay let's go ahead and try this again we should be close enough i believe okay this is three okay that was actually four i just pressed so okay nothing happened okay let's press three there we go okay yeah and the cannon shoots off just like that that's really cool sorry guys just without the controls i don't really know the controls so when i press something and something works you know it's it's very cool uh, okay there's also a five made. Oh, okay yep that's a five okay those should shoot off rockets just like that that's very loud oh okay and they're coming back to me nope okay yep i just dodged them like a boss i'm just gonna sit here and chill you guys know how it is uh but yeah that, that was very scary and they don't seem to actually explode either they're just kind of sitting over here okay that one just flew past that house no big deal okay let's go ahead and try six now here we go this is six i pressed six but nothing happened oh okay something happened uh what was that uh oh it's uh, oh, it's on the other side okay or no that might have been one of the bomb okay yeah that was a bomb okay okay let's go ahead and try seven now and then like eight nine ten or like zero uh yeah okay I, I think that was pretty much it yeah this is definitely a very cool build you know you can play minecraft and besiege and what more could any kid want you know honestly like i'm oh, okay something just exploded okay it was those okay that was fine uh but yeah anyways this is definitely very cool you guys should check it out for yourself of course the link will be down below in the description as well as all the other creations from today's episode let's go ahead and move on to the next creation okay for our next creation this creation's name is called the drone droid this is probably going to be a quick one but i still wanted to show it to you guys for my viewer dragosh because he does create very awesome things in besiege uh, but yeah the first thing i noticed was the balloon is still visible and you know that's usually not a thing uh so yeah i think we can actually go into the key mapper possibly and then go to that and visual hiding maybe is there like a visual hiding somewhere i thought there was okay yep i i just froze the game we're fine okay minecraft skin okay i guess we can make it a minecraft ghost that's cool uh, but you know i would rather it not be anything uh, let's go ahead and try to get rid of this here i don't know how to do besiege though we can also do it with the vehicle pack skin which is the giant balloon and uh, i don't think that would make it any better you know it would look pretty cool but you know it's not any better uh, but yeah i don't see you know like invisible i don't oh, oh is that it a uh, cockpit pack maybe okay yeah i don't see it so let's just go and go with that maybe that should work right yeah okay yeah sure okay now we just have to try to do it with the rope but i don't see it when we're paused like this so yeah i think we just have to deal with the rope just like that okay you know whatever that's fine i'll uh, be yeah, let's go and try to go forward here this is pressing the up arrow here we go and yeah it's kind of like two wheels on each side with the little propellers on the side of this wall that's actually pretty cool it's not using the wheels to turn itself it's using the propellers to pull itself forward and you know that's pretty unique at least i think that's how it is anyway i think the wheels actually might be turning on their own too yeah probably uh, but yeah still just looks very cool okay let's go ahead and try to check out some weapons on this thing again i don't know the controls because it is from you know the besiege website just go and press a whole bunch of random stuff here we go yep there we go just just random stuff okay yep okay that's that does that okay i think that's j yeah that's j does that all right let's go and try the numbers this is one okay yep there we go okay there's some rockets okay now it's on fire as well okay that's fine uh, but you know it has a couple of rockets and it does drive around as well okay this time we're going to turn invincibility off and we're going to see how this thing breaks apart when we run over a bomb i'd like to try to do that with creations to see how they break apart as well uh, because you know that's pretty satisfying here we go uh, but yeah, i'll just go and drive over here real quick might as well shoot off a couple of our missiles you know we have those might as well just shoot them off there we go that's pretty cool uh, but yeah, let's couldn't just run into this bomb here and see how we break apart here we go buddy just like that boom okay that was actually very satisfying yes okay we even took down the tower as well i think oh uh, no we hit it though uh, but yeah that was definitely very cool yeah again this is just a quick one that i wanted to show to you guys you know it looks very cool and it is a star wars replica so of course you had to give a thumbs up for that let's go to shoot off the rockets one more time there and uh, it's on fire beautiful let's go ahead and move on to the last creation of today's episode okay for our last creation of today's episode this creation's name is called the near automata mech suit 
and uh, hopefully I said that right. And again, this is another creation made by the Sensor Studios. I don't know how I always find his creations without even looking for them, but you know, I just look for the best looking creations and I look in to see their controls and what kind of functions that they have. Usually it's by the time that I'm recording that I realize, oh, it's by Sensor Studios. Okay, great. And uh, yeah, anyways, another shout out to him because he is a great builder. You guys should definitely go check him out. I will leave his channel down below as well as the link to this thing, of course. Okay, the first starting controls are P to start the engines and that is arrow keys, right shift and right control to drive. It says steering is aggressive, so spam the button. Okay, uh, I guess let's go ahead and try to fly this thing, see what we can do. Okay, this is P. Okay, yep, those are definitely engines. Okay, let's just go ahead and just take off a little bit. Okay, I don't know uh, what to do. Do we go forward? Okay, yeah, now we go forward, just like this. Okay, this is actually working pretty well. Let's try to pull up into the air. Okay, I just pulled up my screen capturing software, and yeah, we just crashed, so yeah, whatever. Oh, it was because I was using the wrong shift and control. I was using the left one. Okay, let's try to pull off here and see if we can do a little bit better this time, knowing that we know, you know, we know the controls. Okay, yeah, you can definitely tell it pulled up a lot easier that time. And yeah, okay, we're up in the air, we're good to go. Yeah, sometimes my brain just doesn't work, and I'm sorry for that, but you know, this is definitely very cool. I didn't expect it to fly this well. I've already turned around, and yeah, it's very, like, agile. You can tell it can definitely turn around pretty quickly, uh, even though it is pretty decent sized. Okay, let's go ahead and try to go over here and uh, wreck over one of these statues. You guys know how it is. Okay, we should be up here. Let's go ahead and just aim up a little bit. Okay, we should be pretty good. Okay, pull up. Okay, yeah, there we go. This thing is very agile. I like the way that it controls. There we go. Get wrecked, dude. And uh, okay, we just took off the head and he's still standing there. Okay, I guess that kind of works. Okay, let's see if we can land up here. There we go. Just, you know, calm down a little bit. Turn off the engines. Okay, we should be good. Uh, now we're going to sit up here and figure out the other controls real quick. Okay, he's kind of rising back up on his own. I don't know why that is, but, you know, just let him do his thing. Okay, the other controls are F for the camera, 1, and then immediately 2 for heavy attack, and then C to shoot. So let's go and check out the camera first. There we go. And I guess that's kind of like an above camera. That's pretty cool. Is there any others? Okay, that's the only one. Beautiful. Okay, let's go and try the heavy attack. It is 1, and then immediately 2 for the heavy attack. So here we go. 1, and then 2. Okay, I think I did it wrong. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, I, I don't know if I'm doing it right. One, two. It, there we go. I'm, I'm pressing it as quick as I can. I think that might be it. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, if it isn't, then I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm trying my best. All right, anyways, there's also a way to transform this thing. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. It is Q and E to transform. Uh, one is Q and then E to transform. And it says hold. Okay, I'm not exactly sure, but let's go and try it anyway. Okay, this is Q. There we go, just like that. And then E. Let's go and try that as well. Okay, no, E puts it back. Okay, just like this. There we go. Okay, but yeah, now we're actually in mech, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's very tall and very lanky as well, but I kind of like it. It's very nice. Okay, uh, Z next to walk. So let's go and try this here, even though we're kind of on a mountain. Don't worry about that. Here we go. Just like this, buddy. You know, one foot in front of the other. You know that song from when you were a kid? That was always great. There we go. And uh, yeah, we kind of just jumped down the hill, but yeah, it definitely does walk pretty well there. Okay, let's just go ahead and go for a nice little stroll. You guys know how it is. Here we go. You know, just one foot in front of the other. Okay. And uh, yeah, I always love the, der the derpy walk walking styles of things in Besiege. They're just a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, this thing is definitely very awesome. I know I keep saying that, but it's just very true. You know, look at it. It's very cool. Okay, let's transform back into the plane mode because these guys are coming over and we can fly away just like this. And uh, yeah, you can't touch this. Oh, even Okay, we're upside down. Okay, yep. Okay, oh, okay, we're figuring this out. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty dang cool around here. If you guys ask me, and also leave a comment of what your favorite build was from today's episode. This would definitely be it for me. You know, Transformers always get my heart. And this one was very nice as well. Of course, the Sensor Studios always creates very nice creations. And you guys should definitely go check him out. Both on Steam, you know, for his creations. And for on YouTube for his live streams and all that great stuff as well. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay awesome, guys.